Check one, two, one, two, three. One, two, 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 three.
Well, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the second half of a doubleheader of the Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week live on YouTube. We are here at Gallo Arena in Buzzards Bay for this contest between the Sandwich Blue Knights and the Dennis Yarmouth Dolphins. Jim McCabe here with you on the play-by-play. -play. First half of the doubleheader saw Mashpee Monomoy get blasted by John Paul II, 7-0. Both of those teams in playoff races here at Sandwich trying to get a win that they need to make it to the postseason. Dennis Yarmouth looking to spoil things. Turning things over and listening to the public address announce uh, senior night announcements. And we'll be silent. Captain Andrew Childers. 
who is the current track of his very Kathy Larry. He's a four-year member of the team who is also a letterman of the cross. Following graduation, Andrew plans on attending the Massachusetts Maritime Academy to pursue a degree in marine transportation. Last year, number 25, team captain is Zach Brooks. Zach is a good player for his parents and family members. He is a player member of the Great Squad Ice Hockey team who also participated in soccer. Following high school graduation, Zach plans on attending Cape Cod Community College but is undecided on a course of study. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sandwich High School Boys High Soccer Class of 2019. All right, so there you go. The uh, senior being honored. We'll remind you who the seniors are on this team. But suffice it to say, Sandwich has a lot of players that are moving on after this season. I don't think we're going to have the national anthem played here. Uh, I can't say that with 100% certainty. But it's the Sandwich players you see gathered around their bench listening to instructions from head coach Paul Moore. DY players are surrounding their goaltender. That's Connor Medeiros. He's a senior himself. And his five starters out there talking to him. Carson Schemenauer is a junior. Schemenauer to our left. And let's uh, go ahead and tell you about uh, where these teams are at right now. Sandwich is 7-8-2 and two overall. Their state tournament qualifying record is 7-7-2. Seven, seven and two. They need four points. They lost to Noss at 3-1 on Saturday. That is another team that is in the hunt. And uh, the most recent time we saw Noss at, Dennis Yarmouth drew him to a 1-1 tie. And so this DY team is doing its best to play spoiler. They're pretty firmly in that position against a sandwich team that is hoping to get a win or get at least points out of this when they would like to but uh, certainly they don't want to come out of this one empty-handed tonight we are underway we're in the first minute of play here at Gallo Arena behind uh, DY net as it's on the far end of the ice the uh, puck is sent back to the point for a shot by Jake Campbell it was blocked and Dennis Yarmouth able to force it out to center ice was the Dennis Yarmouth Jr. varsity team winning over Sandwich 4 0 before this one. Brought in by Griff Feely, and then he was checked and skating the other way with it, Sean Connolly. Connolly, Rister missing. Connolly had the only goal uh, against Nauset. That game played on Saturday. Played along right in front of the Dennis Yarmouth bench. Still battling for that. That was a scrum you normally see on the boards, but that was an open ice scrum. And then Sandwich player sending it into the DUI zone. Behind his net being pressured is Declan Tolley. Played along the far side, reaching for it, firing it from the point was Drew McKinnon. And the save was made by Connor Medeiros.
Zooming in a little bit, you see the scrum continuing. And finally, it's a Dennis Yarmouth player skating it ahead and getting it out through the neutral zone. Poking at it to get it further was Feely for DY. Back to the Dennis Yarmouth line and iced by Declan Tolley. Dennis Yarmouth's last game was a 7-0 loss to the powerhouse Marshfield. That might not be that much of a surprise. Marshfield in the Atlantic Coast League has been very good this season, obviously. Anybody paying attention to the standings knows that they are currently in first place, although Falmouth High School is right there now, challenging them for that top spot. Shot comes in from the point. And the save was made by Medeiros. And then it was that 1-1 tie uh, against Nasa. Dennis Yarmouth's record is 1-14 and 3. Their one win came against Mashpee Monomoy back on December 29th. That was a 4-2 victory. Goals have been hard to come by for this Dennis Yarmouth team. Your leading goal scorer is Trevor Luke with seven. Tom Julian with, or uh, Josh Benoit rather, with five. I was saying Benoit, of course it's pronounced Benoit. The one time it's not the French pronunciation. Medeiros makes a save right on the doorstep. That shot taken by Zachary Brooks. So I apologize, nobody corrected me uh, until I was going over things with the DY coaching staff. It wasn't even a correction. <laughs> Just a casual mention that his name is pronounced Benoit. And your other uh, multi-goal scorer, there's one other, that's Tommy Julian with four. Thrown out in front, here is Benoit. Couldn't quite get all of that in a slot as it was sent to him. And DY almost able to sneak home one to grab an early lead. But that one didn't quite work out. Now this goes to Jonathan Stutzman. Settles down the rolling puck beautifully. Stutzman moves in. Shot saved, Medeiros. And a sandwich player crashing into the net. It's off. And that gets the whistle. Stutzman, a little buttery move there. Zach Quenville, Colby Cavatoria, and Shea Terrio each have one goal for Dennis Yarmouth. Leading goal scorer for Sandwich is Rob Cardillo, 10 goals and four assists. Sean Connolly with nine. And Andrew Childers with six. Connor Durant, Drew McKinnon, Gavin Johnston, Jonathan Stutzman each with one goal. Mike Barrasso with four. Zachary Brooks, who just had a chance a moment ago with two. Caleb McDermott, four. Jack Hemian, seven. And you can see we're not going in any particular order there. Just up the list. Dennis Yarmouth had a string of uh, being shut out consecutively. Stutzman moving in, pass in front, missing was Jack Hamian fed to him nicely by Stutzman, who as you've heard, on our broadcast for Sandwich this season, Stutzman's the assist guy, and he set up Hemian nicely in the slot, but Hemian just missed. Andrew Childers, one of the seniors, passes ahead to another one, Sean Connolly, but now Stutzman has to give it a second try, and he's able to get it over to Mike Barrasso, who has just gotten onto the ice for a new shift. For checking from Dennis Yarmouth, they're trying to get it deep into the zone, can't. They tried, but they could not get it in. And Jonathan Stutzman will just lob it into the DY zone. Competitive hockey being played here between these two teams. We're just about one-third of the way into the first period. Blasted into the offensive zone by Caleb Tolley. Battle for the puck on the near side. Oh, and it's just out of the reach of Declan Tolley after it was sent from the near side.
Now puck sent back out to the neutral zone. And here's an interception by Colin Norkovicius. On the wing shot, Medeiros makes a save. There's a little bit of a rebound there, but it's picked up by the defenseman who's now getting checked into the end boards. That's Zach Quenville with a Q, Z-A-Q, Zach Quenville. Pinned into the Dennis Yarmouth zone. Now it's Josh Benoit getting out to center ice. Benoit with two defensemen watching him. Score! That's in! A long distance shot by Josh Benoit. Goes in and it's 1-0 Dennis Yarmouth. Benoit went in to make sure that it was a goal. But he only gets one. Five minutes, 45 seconds into the first period. Carson Schemenauer, uh, we'll put that in the goal. You want to have that a category, you know, in this politically correct world, what goal he'd like to have back means. But uh, Carson Schemenauer in all the previous games that I've seen, and uh, by all accounts, all the games that he has been in, of course, he's been the starter for Schemenauer, or for Sandwich. This is a penalty coming up, by the way. We got our first power play of the game. It is going against Sandwich. Penalized player is Charlie Casino, and I didn't see what the call was. High sticking, or hooking, I'm sorry, rather, was the call. Dennis Yarmouth gets its first power play. Schemenauer has just been outstanding for this sandwich squad. And as I said, he's a junior. He's got one more year to play. But that was just a long distance shot by Benoit, who of course uh, would be the one to get a goal like that with now his goal total six. Not able to get a handle on this one was Tommy Julian, otherwise, he would have been one-on-one -on -one with Schemenauer, but Carson Schemenauer just watched that one go by. Power play continues for D.Y. Two assists on that goal went to Shea Terrio and Zach Quenville. Now we've got a uh, whistle and we have a face-off coming up in the Dennis Yarmouth zone. See if Sandwich can win this cleanly and maybe do a little power play setup. It goes back, Andrew Childers shot. Off the glass, pinned in on the far side boards. Uh, it's gonna be collected by Dennis Yarmouth. And the Dolphins will get it out to center ice. Turn back by Declan Tolly. This is gravy time for D.Y. There's a player that's Tolly getting out. Took him a while to get out of the offensive zone. Shorthanded time for Dennis Yarmouth. Dive attempt by Childers to get to this puck. Fed back from the point by Ray Ransom. Another senior for Dennis Yarmouth. Childers tries to clear it out of his own zone. Over the crossbar that shot from Declan Tolly. Now it's worked across on this power. I'm sorry, this is a, what am I, I said shorthanded for Dennis Yarmouth. I meant to say, I got confused about who the power play was for. This is DY's power play continuing, but only for another 10 seconds. Schemenauer sticks out the glove, but the shot by Caleb, uh, rather Declan Tolly, just went wide. Kept in on the board by Ray Ransom at the blue line, then fed to the half wall for Shea Terrio. Pass into the high slot. A few sandwich players there. The pass is on the money for Caleb McDermott. Score! On the pass from the neutral zone. And this game is tied at one.
It was good puck movement for Dennis Yarmouth on the power play. How many times do you see a power play conclude? And a player, player was, uh, I think the, that was McDermott, then obviously he was not out of the penalty box. Connolly with that great spotting. It was McDermott coming off the bench. And a lengthy pass from Connolly connected. And the game is tied at one. Two players actually look like one player came out, the penalized player, and then also McDermott from the, the main bench. Or perhaps McDermott replaced the player that was uh, out of the penalty box. Either way, the clean pass and a great shot by McDermott, who's now got his fifth goal of the season. And then we just got a penalty called, and I didn't see what that was, but it's a sandwich power play, their first of the game. After they just scored, McDermott shot bunks off a player in front. Let's hear the call. Hooking the call uh, against Zach Wenville. McDermott steers it across in the circle. Childers scores! It's a power play goal, and Sandwich is up 2-1. Two, two quick goals. 24 seconds into the power play. Andrew Childers scores his seventh goal of the season. Childers listed as a forward, but he plays defense now. It's Dennis Yarmouth getting it right back off the turnover. Tommy Julian took advantage of that pass from Drew McKinnon to Andrew Childers, went right in and buried that to retie the game at two. Four goals scored here in the first 10 minutes of hockey. That'll be unassisted for Julian. First Dennis Yarmouth goal was a long distance shot. That was not the world's most unstoppable shot. And then the second goal off a D to D turnover. He characterized Dennis Yarmouth's offense as opportunistic to say the least. It's Dennis Yarmouth team wanting to make Sandwich work hard for its postseason opportunity. McDermott, that great pass to Childers to put Sandwich up 2-1. McDermott gets the only assist on the Childers goal. We're in the final five minutes of this first period. Shot from the point, blocked, and it goes back out to center ice. It'll be just golfed in by Colin Norkovicious. Two two the score, latest goal scorer, Tommy Julian for Dennis Yarmouth. Race for the puck. Played away from Zach Quenville. Out to the neutral zone. This is taken out by Griff Feely. Feely will just send one in from a long distance and Schemenauer will cover up. Let's tell you about our sponsors for this game. Cape Cod Healthcare, Cape Cod Healthcare's urgent care centers, ER trained doctors, urgent care convenience in Hyannis. Sandwich, Falmouth, and Harwich get fast access to expert care for minor injuries, illness, or to x-ray suspected sprain or broken bone. No appointment necessary. 
Visit www.capecodhealth.org for more information. Cape Cod Healthcare, urgent healthcare. Also being brought to you tonight, Agway of Cape Cod, locally owned, family operated, serving the Cape for over 25 years with lawn, garden, wild bird, and pet supplies. Visit the three Agway locations in Orleans, Dennis, and Chatham, online at agwaycapecod.com. Buck in the sandwich zone. Childers from the near corner sends it ahead. So Childers listed as a forward, plays D. Got involved in the offense in a big way just the moment ago. As, as solid a defenseman as he is a player that gets involved in the offense. And this is icing on sandwich. To recap all the goals that have been scored so far, was Dennis Yarmouth getting the lead on the shot and the score by Benoit. Sandwich goals. First to uh, tie it. From Caleb McDermott. And then Childers. And then it was Julian for DY retying it. Less than three minutes to go in the first period. Jonathan Stutzman. You can see his stick handling from all the way down here. It is fun to watch him move the puck. Stutzman getting it in his own zone. And he'll go behind his own net with Benoit chasing him. Stutzman tried to play it ahead at bunk off Shea Terrio. And now a shot going wide from Benoit, went off the outside of the net. A centering attempt would not go from Trevor Luke. There were DUI players out in front, including the dangerous Benoit. Now played away from the slot by Zach Quenville in his own zone. And an offside call, I believe. Or do we have a penalty coming up here? Puck was played on the line. This appears to just be an offside call. With 2.17 remaining in the first period, and an entertaining one here between these two Atlantic Coast League teams who will be moving to, of course, the Cape and Islands League, the expanded CNI League next season. Save made Medeiros kicking that shot out from Sean Connolly. Kept in on the near half wall by Colin Norkovicius. DY once again unable to clear, fed along uh, the far side boards by Jake Campbell. Now it is out, and now here's a step for Tommy Julian. Save made, Schemenauer. Julian's got it again, shot. And that one deadened by a host of players in front. It just goes to the near side. Played deep. Julian bidding for his second goal. And a good arm save made by Schemenauer. Fed ahead, almost a connection between Mike Barrasso and Caleb McDermott. Nothing on that trip for Dennis Yarmouth. It's Stutzman ahead. Stutzman, shot, save Medeiros. Stutzman will get the rebound. And in front, they score! Stutzman found Rob Cardillo. Stutzman first denied on the shot, and Stutzman the second time gets the assist on the Cardillo goal. And with exactly one minute to go in the first period, Sandwich back on top. That should just be Cardillo from Stutzman. And it's Cardillo getting his 11th of the season. 
Five goals scored here in this first period. The offense has been active. Now just 15 seconds left in the first. Hard uh, shoulders tried to get it ahead. It was knocked down by Trevor Luke. And with just two seconds left, buzzer will sound. And it's a 3-2 lead for Sandwich after one period of play. Dennis Yarmouth took the 1-0 lead. Sandwich responded with two goals to take a 2-1 lead. DY retied it at two. And late here in the first period, Sandwich goes ahead 3-2. And that's the teams skating into the locker room with that score on the scoreboard. We'll take a break. They'll resurface the ice and the second period of the second half of this Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week doubleheader will continue on the Upper Cape.
Welcome back, everybody. The second period about to start here at Gallo Arena in Buzzards Bay. It is Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week action between Dennis Yarmouth and Sandwich. DY took the 1 0 lead in the first period on a goal from Josh Benoit with assists to Shea Terrio and Zach Glenville. Sandwich got the game tied. On a goal from Caleb McDermott, assisted by Sean Connolly. Andrew Childers gave Sandwich the go ahead on a power play goal, assisted by Caleb McDermott. Dennis Yarmouth retied the game on an unassisted goal from Tommy Julian. And then late in the first period, Sandwich took the 3 2 lead. And that one came from Rob Cardillo, the assist to Jonathan Stutzman. That's where we are after one period of play. It'll be Sandwich skating towards the near end of the ice. Dennis Yarmouth net to our left. And the Sandwich net accordingly over on the right side, over on the far side, I should say. Far side, right side, here in the corner. This has been the season of diff multiple ice rinks, multiple broadcast locations. This is brought into the offensive zone by Jack Hemme and heartbreak job, getting it out to the point, point to point pass, and a shot deflected in front after it was taken by Andrew Childers. Now cleared out of the zone and down into the sandwich zone. Childers will pick it up. Now skating with it. And getting into the zone and dropping it back, Rob Cardillo. But then it's DY taking it back and clearing. And a slow start to this second period. After an explosive first, five goals that were scored. And now we got a whistle and a stoppage and icing call. One minute and 17 seconds into the second period. You have to go back to the 2014 2015 season, backhander right in front. Medeiros made the save. 2014-15 season is the last time Dennis Yarmouth beat Sandwich. Skated out to center by Tommy Julian. Julian, a nice drop. Rister, Schemenauer, the save on the offering from Griff Feely. Dennis Yarmouth beat Sandwich 3 0 and 5 2 in that 2014 15 season. Since then, Sandwich has won 5 of 6 and gotten points in six consecutive games. Here is Caleb McDermott trying to get it out to the point, unsuccessful thanks to the pressure from the DY skater. Now sent back in to the Dennis Yarmouth zone. Loose puck off a body check on the far wall is sent out to neutral by Colby Cavatorta. Now turning with this in his own zone, shallow depth, Jake Campbell. And then ahead thrown by Sean Connolly. Brace for the puck. And a good effort there by Zachary Brooks to Wrestle the puck away from Ransom for Dennis Yarmouth. Then to the corner, right below us, Sean Connolly. Out to the line. Just going wide, that offering from Jake Campbell. And outside of the net, clamping down on this is Connor Medeiros. That's 2014-15 season. Neither team finishing in a playoff position. Dennis Yarmouth went 8-11-4, and, and since then, their record has been more of a struggle. 
And that wasn't a great year for Sandwich either. They only finished with a handful of wins. Now, a penalty's coming up off of uh, that action you just saw below us, right in front of the Sandwich jerseys that are hanging on hangers on the top of the glass. A tripping call being assessed here. And this is a penalty against Dennis Yarmouth. It's Matt Walsh that is going to the box. Second power play of the game for Sandwich. They're one for one. Pass in my little blind spot there where the jerseys are. Roped across by Sean Connolly. Too hot to handle for McDermott. Sandwich will come back in. McDermott looked for options. It's filtered on back for the shot by Cardillo. Save rebound. That one in front stuff from the backhander would not go, and I don't think it got on goal. It's passed out by Jack Hamien. Comes back in. Shot from Andrew Childers, and that one stays out. Hamien skirts the line. Hard pass over to McDermott, and now it's back for Childers. Now Sean Connolly. Was checked, holds on to the puck. Connolly behind the net. Gretzky's office. He passes over to Jonathan Stutzman. Stutzman, a uh, great skate move there. Stutzman now behind the net. Tried to center it. There was hey, hey, hey from Connolly. He wanted it, but it didn't go to him. It's Hennian. Sends it back down low. Stutzman has a little bit of space. Childers, too far from Stutzman. Now goes to the far side. There's a damn Dennis Yarmouth player getting involved and sending it ahead. That's Trevor Luke. 40 seconds and now less remaining on the power play. Brought in by Sandwich. That's been shot. And look out. That one neutralized off a DY stick and into the safety netting. There's 35 seconds left on the power play. No goal scored here in the second period. Five in the first. Face off win by Sandwich. It is passed by Drew McKinnon for Rob Cardello. The second power play unit is out there for Sandwich. Zachary Brooks with now 20 seconds left. The other players out there are Mike Barrasso and Jack Greeley. And Greeley's shot misses. And now the net's off. Madero's tried to put it back on and Keep the uh, play alive. Gets a little helmet tap from the referee. Didn't get it uh, back on in time. I don't know why Materos would. Uh, well, I guess it's uh, that's a personal preference. You try and get the net on. They spot the net being dislodged, and it results in an offensive zone draw for Sandwich. Maybe trying to avoid that, and avoid almost just what happened there, which was a shot from Jake Campbell that was almost tipped in front. Power play is over. Watch out for the DY player exiting the box. And it goes back out. That player joining the action, but still the pass gotten out in front. Hamian's got a player on him. He gets away from him. Hamian's got another player in front of him closing in. Declan Tolly Hemian. Look at the puck movement for him. And thrown out, and here's Tommy Julian behind everybody. Julian! Score! He's got his second. He made the move on Schemenauer and beat him in tight. And Dennis Yarmouth has tied the game at three. The third time we have had a tie game. And uh, Shea Terrio will get that assist. Terrio saw Julian start to go the other way. Julian. 
I don't know who they gave the assist to. It doesn't sound like it was Terrio, but I'm giving it to Terrio because I saw that it was clearly him that passed it. Although I'll take one more replay look to go from being 99.9% .9 sure to 100%. What is certain is that Julian has got his second. And now a penalty is coming up to Sandwich. And it'll be Dennis Yarmouth getting its second power play. What is going on in this game? Penalized player appears. No, it's not Mike Barrasso. I thought he was going to the bench. It's actually Andrew Childers. Josh Benoit passes it. Now Julian picks this up. Julian tries to step out in front. Long reach out from Colin Norkovich is stopping that. The pass will go out to Zach Quenville. And more puck mo movement here for Dennis Yarmouth. Score! The shot from the point by Josh Benoit. And it was deflected in front. And it's a power play goal for Dennis Yarmouth. They've got the 4-3 lead. The goal fest continues from the first. Two more here in the second. On top of the five scored in the opening frame. And Dennis Yarmouth, which was up 1-0, has retaken the lead. Missing right in front, Will Vincent. Julian gets the goal. That is a hat trick for Tommy Julian, a natural hat trick. He scored the second, third, and now fourth goals for Dennis Yarmouth. Julian came into this game with four goals and one more, and he will double his goal total all season. Sandwich player gets tripped up. That's McDermott, and he was able to nudge it into the crease. Uh, I think this is going to be a penalty against Sandwich. Let's see. Yes. And the third power play of the game for Dennis... for... Uh, no, yes, no, no penalty. Just kidding. Just kidding. Everybody relax. We play five on five here. It is played across, four checking pressure from Jack Greeley on that D to D pass. Kept it at the line, but then losing a handle on it was Drew McKinnon. And Declan Tolley behind the net with Tommy Julian stepping on by. Julian with three straight goals to give Dennis Yarmouth the 4-3 lead here. Middle stages of the second period, and therefore we're just uh, past the halfway point of the game. Julian. Was poke checked. Check on the half wall. Save man Maderos on the offering in front. Oh my, what a stop in front by Griff Feely. Griff Feely, <laughs> skater with Maderos way out. There was an open net, but then there wasn't. Slapped out of there by Declan Tolly. And icing on Dennis Yarmouth. We're seeing some things here. There'll be another face-off. 
in the Dennis Yarmouth zone. Here's Rob Cardillo flipping it out in front. Stutzman shot it wide with a little bit of influence from the stick of Zach Quenville. Out of play. Let's tell you about our sponsors for this game, Cape Cod Healthcare. Cape Cod Healthcare is urgent care centers. ER trained doctors, urgent care convenience, and Hyannis Sandwich, Falmouth, and Harwich. Visit www.capecodhealth.org for more information. Cape Cod Healthcare, urgent healthcare. Push to the near half wall, and it's passed out to center by Ben Oit. Off the stick of uh, Trevor Luke, and they'll call this icing. They'll say Luke wasn't at the red line. And uh, that, tells, that lets us tell you about our other sponsor for this game. That's Agway of Cape Cod, your local source for the pet food and supplies you need to keep your four-legged family members happy and healthy. Visit Agway in Orleans, Dennis, and Chatham, and online at agwaycapecod.com. Four three, Dennis leads sandwich. Sent ahead, and this will go right in on goal off the stick of Abe McCormick and Carson Schemenauer. Will cover it up. Two goals here for Dennis Yarmouth in this second period. And the fact that I think that's the first time I've mentioned Carson Schemenauer's name here in the second tells you what you need to know. A little bit of feast or famine for D.Y. in terms of their overall shots on goal here in the second. Evidently, it's pretty low, but it's high percentage in terms of the pucks that are going in. Both goals in this period from Julian. Now Medeiros from this neutral zone offering. Keeps that out. Still getting over that save from Griff Feely in front. I thought that puck was definitely going in. And Feely stepped in to play goaltender. We've seen a little bit of everything here in this contest. And we got another faceoff coming up here in the Dennis Yarmouth zone. To the right of Medeiros. Caleb McDermott versus Tommy Julian. And it's won by McDermott. It's back for a shot that's blocked. Colin Norkovicious stepping in that was Chris Feely. When he's not playing goaltender, he's blocking shots. Under five to go in the second period. Goes right through the crease from Feely. It goes back. For a shot save made, Schemenauer, I think. A big ooh from the crowd. That shot came in from Ray Ransom. Certainly shot on goal. And now it's Sandwich bringing it in right in the middle. Finally taken off the puck was Sean Connolly and a penalty coming up to Dennis Yarmouth. That was Connolly right in front. And at the last second, a DY stick got in there. But now it is Dennis Yarmouth going on the penalty kill. And Sandwich is going on its third power play of the game. <whistles> Penalized player, Will Vincent. And it's won by Sandwich. It's shoulders over. Shot from McDermott blocked. And that one will be slap shotted down the ice by Josh Benoit. Penalty killers besides Benoit. 
You've got Trevor Luke, you've got Zach Quenville, and you've got Matt Walsh. It is brought in by Sean Connolly, and the pass, not able to clamp down on that Caleb McDermott. A good pass to him. And now this is kept in by Connolly. Sean Connolly, he'll pass over Andrew Childers, and uh, it's a slapper from McDermott after he greeted it off the end boards, and that one stays out. In the skates of Connolly, he's checked on the end boards by Matt Walsh. Power play's halfway over, and there's three minutes remaining in the second period. John Connolly holding on to this one. Connolly peels away, and some more in the circle, passes, shoulders right back to Connolly, and he couldn't handle that pass. Connolly will get it for Jack Hemian, but then Hemian unable to do anything. Uh, D.Y. attempt to clear it, was kept in by Childers, who now has to do more work to prevent a shorthand chance. Almost Benoit getting it to Luke, and he would have been in for a big shorthanded chance. Brought in to the offensive zone by Sandwich. Big clog up in the slot. Pounding it off the glass is Griff Feely, keeping it in his shoulders. Shoulders will pass and Sandwich just unable to get the clean passes off on this power play. Now down to five seconds. It's in Hemian, and then checked in the slot and out the center. There's a player coming out and that's Shea Terrio. A sandwich able to back check in time. Less than two minutes to go in the second period. From his own line, sent ahead by Declan Tolley. And now chasing this down in his own zone is Andrew Childers. Childers lost it, but then landed a check to let the puck keep on going. Kept in at the point. Then sandwich player gloves it down and is skated ahead by Zachary Brooks. Brooks will go wide. Shoot one. Save it. Arrows right in front. Score! Rob Cardillo. Ties the game at four. 1.26 to go in the second period. Cardillo with the goal. Mike Barrasso and Zach Brooks pick up the assists. Cardillo's second. Right out in front, washout signal as Dennis Yarmouth was bidding to get the lead back. And we get the whistle. One oh four to go in the second period. All bets are off in this one. I have no idea what is going to happen here in a final 16 minutes and four seconds of this contest. An entertaining one for sure. And this will be iced by Sandwich. And that takes six seconds off of the clock. Buck out the center with under a minute to go in the second period. Skated up the wing by Jack Hemi, a pass into the middle. Stutzman's shot was blocked by Declan Tolley. And now it's Tommy Julian out the center ice. Julian trying to push past. And too many players in the way. It'll be picked up by Sandwich in the defensive zone and played behind the net. A pass out with less than a half minute to go in the second. Here's Jonathan Stutzman with a step. Stutzman high over the net. Now take 
played away by Tommy Julian on the wing. Julian stepped around but didn't take the puck with him. And now less than 10 to go in the period. Played down, this pass goes to Stutzman, and he pushed it ahead, and now the arm goes up, and I think Sandwich is going to start the third period on the man advantage. Tell you more about it when the third period begins. It appears Sandwich will go back on the man advantage and the third. This game is tied at four, and we'll recap the scoring for you as well when the third period begins. Exciting Cape Cod High School hockey game of the week, a competitive one between Dennis Yarmouth and Sandwich. Tied at four after two, and Sandwich making the playoff push, looking for the two points. We'll see if they can get it. Or will they get one? All the answers will be revealed to you in the third period coming up in just a little bit.
Welcome back, everybody. This Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week continues live on YouTube. Jim McCabe here with you for this contest between Dennis Yarmouth and Sandwich. It is a 4-4 game. And it is Sandwich operating on its third power play of the contest. On the far end of the ice. Here's a slapper. Connor Medeiros makes a save on that shot from Sean Connolly. Now it is backhanded, but it's knocked down by the stick of Caleb McDermott. McDermott circles the net, lost it, and Zach Quenville trying to make him pay, but it was kept in temporarily by Andrew Childers and then cleared by the Dolphins. Jack Kenyon tried to get on through, had some trouble. He's able to pass it to the vicinity of Andrew Childers, but then forcing the issue was Matt Walsh. And starting the breakout now again is Sean Connolly. Power play is past the halfway point. Now it is brought in offsides. Your goal scorers for Dennis Yarmouth, one for Benoit. Josh Benoit got the first goal of the game. Tommy Julian with the natural hat trick. Second, third, and fourth goals of the contest. For Sandwich, your four goal scorers are McDermott, Childers, and two for Cardillo. Caleb McDermott, Andrew Childers, and Rob Cardillo. McDermott and Shoulders are seniors. All your seniors for a sandwich. Sean Connolly, Charlie Casino, Shoulders, Jake Campbell, Gavin Johnston, Jack Hemian, Caleb McDermott, Zachary Brooks, and Jonathan Stutzman. All honored before the game. You can go back and you can watch. We had the camera rolling up here. Dennis Yarmouth Seniors, you include Connor Medeiros, Ray Ransom, Josh Benoit, Trevor Luke, Abe McCormick, and that's it in terms of uh, the active players in the lineup here tonight. Power play going on for another 15 seconds for Sandwich High School. In addition to the goal score, we also had a magical defensive moment in the second period. Griff Feely providing some emergency goaltending on a shot that came out in front. And Connor Medeiros, who is an excellent goaltender in his own right, and he's the actual goaltender. Out of position, Feely made an emergency save in front. This game's had a little bit of everything. Back to even strength. We played just over two minutes of this third period. Drive from the left point by the sandwich player that just shot that. That was uh, Tim Clark, I believe. He's got uh, the number seven covered up there, but uh, the arm Shoulder number says 17. First time we're calling his name, and that shot was stopped by Connor Medeiros. At the end of his crease, Connor Medeiros waiting for action to resume here, and it does as the puck is now just in front of the Dennis Yarmouth bench. And out the center with it in his own zone, wheeling is Sean Connolly, getting away from Josh Benoit. Sandwich gets into the zone not very far, and Benoit carries it back out, and Benoit will just send it deep and chase his own puck. Throws it out, and then further out in front by Trevor Luke, but nobody home to connect on that pass for Dennis Yarmouth. The other way, it is uh, number four for Sandwich. I don't have that number on my roster thrown out in front. Let's see if I can get that. As Dennis Yarmouth going the other way. Zach Quenville, force wide shot save made. Carson Schemenauer, a little bit of a delay there for the whistle, but he does eventually get it. I 
don't have number four online either. I'm not sure who that is. Taken ahead by Rob Cardello with a hatcher. Cardello right to the net. A Dennis Yarmouth player slides to block it, but it doesn't matter. Cardello is able to get it in for the score. Sandwich. Back on top at 5-4, Cardillo with the hat trick. Teams trading hat tricks in this one. I believe that'll be Cardillo's goal. There was a little bit of a delay in front before the signal of goal. If it's Cardillo's, he's got a natural hat trick. He had the third and fourth goals. And this shot hits something hard in front. And to flex out of play, that one taken by... Uh, Jack Hemian. Wait for the official call here. Jonathan Stutzman picks up the only assist. <laughs> and around the space off to the right of Carson Schemenauer. Cardillo from Stutzman. That's the second time we've said that tonight. Cardillo came into this game with 10 goals, now up to 13. Now a cover-up from Medeiros. And a face-off to his right with 10.48 to go in the third period. Nine goals scored in this contest. Between the two teams... Dennis Yarmouth had it, uh, rather, uh, sandwich grab that had a 2-1 lead. Dennis Yarmouth tied it at 2. D.Y. retook the lead at 3-2. Schemenauer makes a save on a wing shot from Zach Wenville, and then it's cleared. And we went back and forth. We've had several lead changes in this one. Most recently, Dennis Yarmouth had the 4-3 lead and now two straight goals from Sandwich. Face off win for the Blue Knights and Jack Hemian gets it out of the late offside here. That is allowing Sandwich to play the puck out. Play to the far half wall. And now a check by Jay Terrio and Jonathan Stutzman. Dennis Yarmouth player taken down. This is a penalty coming up on Sandwich. Shot saved Schemenauer. And that loose puck is guided back to the corner. Dennis Yarmouth controls. Passed out in front. It goes on through. Here's a blast score from Declan Tolley. On the delayed penalty. Sandwich players. They don't know about this one. For now, it's Declan Tolley's goal. The referees are talking things over. 
but they're lining up at center ice for the faceoff. Great effort to get to that puck from Tommy Julian. He had uh, Colin Norkovicius right there. And if Norkovicius had been able to touch it, that would have been it. Oh, they're thinking it was a high stick from Jul uh, Julian. Or no, not uh, it was Benoit in front. That may be Benoit's goal with the assist to Tali. And Benoit got his stick up to chop that down and redirect it in, I believe. I think this is going to be Benoit's goal. We'll wait for the official call. 5-5 five, five to score. Are you kidding? This is the most back and forth Cape Cod High School hockey game of the week that we have had. Slapped wide of the net by Matt Walsh. Let's hear the call. Uh, they give the goal to Declan Tolly and say it was unassisted. Although, looking at it, I think, uh, I don't know. Let's take one more look at this on the slowest of motion. Hard to, hard to tell. Uh, Benoit certainly got his stick up there. But uh, they gave the goal to Declan Tolly, and so shall we. And that's his first of the season. So Declan Tolly joins the goal scoring club for Dennis Yarmouth. This is a team Dennis Yarmouth, by the way, as Stutzman brings it in, he's tried to center, it goes off the side of the net. 19 goals scored. As Sandwich jamming away in front, it's put in. It is put in on the shot from Rob Cardillo. He's got four. And it is back to a sandwich lead. We, I can't even catch, keep up at this point. Rob Cardillo with four straight. Eleven goals scored in this contest. One assist on the Cardillo goal, and that goes to Jack Hemian. Does Dennis Yarmouth have a six pack of its own to put on the scoreboard? Sandwich trying to get halfway to clinching a playoff spot. They've just gone up two on the backhander on the blocker side of Medeiros. If you can believe it, that's the first two goal lead that either of these teams have held. First player to the bench celebrating is Jay Campbell. I'll have to wait to hear who the goal was scored by officially. I'll say Campbell just based on him getting to the bench first. They can't stop scoring goals in this one. Nope, it's Cardillo. If I hear that right, Cardillo from Stutzman and Campbell. Rob Cardillo, five goals. The last five. Three, four, five, six, and seven. 
the sandwich goals that have been put up have all been from Mr. Cardillo. And he has 15 goals now on the season. He's got half of his totals coming into the game scored here tonight. Seven to five. And this is now three straight. Oh, off the post from Julian. Off the, off metal. Julian came that close to making this a one goal game again. Three straight goals scored by Sandwich in this one. And again, a reminder, 18 games played by Dennis Yarmouth as we've got another power play coming up here. This penalty is against Julian. I, I don't know, did something happen? Maybe getting an unsportsmanlike didn't, I don't know what exactly, but now it doesn't matter because Josh Benoit was just hauled down. So nobody is getting a power play at this point. We're going to have some four-on-four -four time. Don't count Dennis Yarmouth out of this one. 18 games played, 19 goals scored coming into this one. So this is obviously their best goal sport scoring uh, output. You go down the line of their schedule and you read the goals that they've scored. One, two, one, one, four. That was their win, the only win that they had against Mashpee Monomoy. They had a four spot in that one. Two, one, one, zero, 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 two, one, zero, two, one, zero. If that sounds like binary code, it's not. But an explosion of offense in this one. Dennis Yarmouth has scored more goals in this game. Then in their last five games or so combined. Referee takes a tumble in the corner right below us. Meanwhile, Cardillo bidding for the double hat trick and he was stoned in front by Medeiros. And the other way, slipping ahead and running out of room is Trevor Luke. Gets a little push from Carson Schemenauer as Trevor Luke crashes into the net. We have had, I mean, everything happened in this game. We've got referees falling. We've got a player that almost just registered a double hat trick. Incredible stuff. Luke went in and he fanned on the shot. He fanned on the shot as he was going in. Four on four for another minute and change. Passed out in front, it goes on through and it's collected by Drew McKinnon who just sends it back ahead onto the stick of a Dennis Yarmouth player now motors forward. That's Matt Walsh, he'll dump it in. Four on four time here for another minute. Andrew Childers has lost his glove and uh, I'm sure he's praying that he doesn't get slashed on the hand. Childers is just gonna play without that glove. Good luck to you, my friend. Lumbered ahead by Zachary Brooks. Brooks on the wing, slips on through, Brooks. Goal line shot, save Connor Medeiros. And a whistle with 5.46 remaining in the third period. Time to tell you about our sponsors for this game. They are Cape Cod Healthcare, Cape Cod Healthcare's Urgent Care Center, ZR Trained Doctors, Urgent Care Convenience, and Hyannis, Sandwich, Falmouth, and Harwich. Get fast access to expert care for minor injuries, illness, or to x-ray suspected sprain or broken bone. 
No appointment necessary. Visit www.capecodhealth.org for more information. Cape Cod Healthcare, Urgent Healthcare, and brought to you by Agway of Cape Cod. Their greenhouse is now open year-round and stocked with beautiful and easy to care for house plants, as well as great unique gifts. Visit Agway in Orleans, Dennis and Chatham, and online at agwaycapecod.com. Thanks so much for uh, the sponsorship to Agway this season, uh, sponsoring uh, all games from Nauset and Dennis Yarmouth. Out in front, Cardillo, double hat trick, denied again. There's still time for him to do it. He's had a couple cracks at it. The power play for Dennis Yarmouth for about two seconds. Not counting that on the stat sheet. Myself up here. Now five minutes remaining in the third period. Dennis Yarmouth needs two to tie. And the offense, which has been moribund all season, has come to life here tonight. Trevor Luke almost... Had a breakaway goal. He fanned on a shot a little bit ago. That would have made it a 7-6 game, a game if he had been able to get that one in. Tommy Julian has been on fire tonight. And plenty of speed for Dennis Yarmouth. That has been a contributing factor. They have really got their skating legs on them tonight. Brought in deep by Sean Connolly. The senior passes it right into the slot. Mitt Darrows stones Zachary Brooks. It's back for Arista at the point. That one blocked in traffic. Shot was taken by Jake Campbell. It goes to him again. And he's got a couple DY players in his vicinity. One of them squatting at it as the puck goes out to neutral. But then it's on his horse, Norkovicius. Sending it ahead, back into the Dennis Yarmouth zone. Contesting this one, Sean Connolly. But the Dolphins will play it out, play to the slot rather. Shot goes in! The shot taken by Mike Barrasso. It may have tipped in front, I think it did. Maybe not, as Barrasso gets to the bench first. Then it's 8-5, Sandwich with its new largest lead of the game. And it's 8-5. Unassist the goal for Barrasso. Open ice check on Connor Durant from Ray Ransom. Now Dennis Yarmouth needs three to tie. Is this one slipping away from them? Childers distributes and then side of the net play. The net is off with 3.12 to go. Again, Sandwich needs four points in their final four games after this one tonight, a win means they're just down to two points in their final three. That can be acquired via a win or two ties. Remaining games for Sandwich. Oh, I'm sorry. They just got the one. They just got the one. I, mm, I thought they said they had four games left. I thought that's what I heard before. So, I think that means they need to win their last. And Dennis Yarmouth has just cut this back to a two-goal lead. Tommy Julian, the great pass, and it's tipped home by Griff Feely. And that makes it eight to six. Let's not go anywhere yet. Let's not write off Dennis Yarmouth. They've got six goals. This is easily their best game of the year. Besides their win, they've got more offense in this one than they did their one win of the season. Griff Feely gets on the score sheet. And I think we've got a timeout coming up here. As players go to their benches, 
Multiple players now for Dennis Yarmouth scoring their first goals of the season. Benoit is up to six goals on the season. Julian is up to seven. Declan Tolley scored his first of the season. Well, let's see, Sandwich. I think this, you have to finish at 500 and a win here will put them at eight, seven and eight, seven and two. So I think a win here puts them in. And Cardillo's got the double hat trick. He shot it and then he pursued the puck in front. Not a ton of celebration from Sandwich, but it is Rob Cardillo with six goals. Cardillo with now 16 on the season. Four more goals, he'll double his goal output. Caleb McDermott picks up the only assist. Here is Jack Hemian getting checked on the end boards by Ray Ransom. Hemian's slow to get up. Dennis Yarmouth once again needs three to tie. Two minutes and change remaining in the second, in the third period. That seems like a lot of time, the way that this has been going. This filters on through into the slot. It's taken by Hemian. One more though, I think from Sandwich would uh, be the final nail on the coffin. Andrew Childers behind his own net. Played along the far side. Shoveled along by Caleb McDermott. And now picked up by Jonathan Stutzman. Stutzman gets through. Stutzman throws it out in front. Tipped off the stick of Jack Greeley. Oh boy, and uh, going into the boards hard, Tommy Julian gets back up though. 70 seconds remaining in the game. Now here's Tommy Julian. Julian Rister, Carson Schemenauer at the save. Multiples, Dennis Yarmouth players crashing in for the rebound. None of them were able to do anything there. A reminder, Julian is not a senior, so we're gonna see him again next year. And uh, for the Cape and Islands League, he'll undoubtedly be a player to watch. Benoit with the one goal tonight is a senior. Feely is not. He's got a goal in this one. Declan Tolley is not a senior. And a nice and call here against Dennis Yarmouth. I'm going to say, if I understand, and I'm still obviously learning things here, that uh, I'm going to say that maybe I misunderstood or I was not given correct information. That's a little bit of conjecture on my part. But as I understand it, to make the MIA playoffs, you have to be a 500 team with a win here tonight. Sandwich improves to 8-7-2, and, and with one win remaining, I think this win here tonight will send them to the playoffs. They've got one more game scheduled uh, against Newton South. Lost to Bourne, by the way, in the Canal Cup, 4-3. Another... Crash into the net, and Carson Schemenauer is down. 
And uh, that one looked a little more violent than the other ones. Tennis Yarmouth has crashed the net multiple times here in this contest. And uh, multiple times there, you just saw Zach, uh, rather Nick Eastman, who's in this game, uh, make sure his goalie was okay. The player that went into the net was Tommy Julian. And now uh, this time, Schemenauer didn't seem that annoyed. Previous moments, though, when this has happened tonight, Schemenauer has been a little more ticked off. But like the other occasions, no uh, penalty here for goaltender interference. We'll have the faceoff with just five seconds left, and Sandwich will get the win against a very tough Dennis Yarmouth team here tonight. Dennis Yarmouth gave them all they had. This game, if it uh, ends in the score, the game-winning goal will go to Rob Cardillo, who had five goals in this one. The buzzer does sound. Cardillo with an incredible evening. And he does get the game winner. He scored five of Sandwich's nine goals as Sandwich High School beats Dennis Yarmouth Regional High School 9-6 in what was the highest scoring Cape Cod High School game of the week so far in this first year of broadcasting it. Wow, what a what a what a game this was. Entertaining on both ends. Dennis Yarmouth, as I said, gave Sandwich everything they had, but ultimately DY will fall to 115 and 3 on the season. They have three more games. They play Rockland on Saturday. That's at 6 p.m. versus Brookline and then Norwell are the final three games for Dennis Yarmouth. And as I said, it uh, is just one more game listed for Sandwich. They're playing Newton South on Friday of next week. So unless they've got a couple more games that aren't listed on the schedule here, that's the uh, final one that's on here. That's next Friday at 2.15 p.m. It appears Sandwich is going to the playoffs, but uh, if they haven't punched their ticket already, they have uh, gotten one foot on the dance floor with this win here tonight. And uh, that just leaves us with one more piece of information to tell you. Our next Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week is going to be on uh, next uh, Tuesday. It'll be Martha's Vineyard, a very good team versus Cape Tech, which has struggled this season. First uh, chance we'll get to see Martha's Vineyard on the Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week. And again, that is on Tuesday of next week. Tune in live on YouTube for that one. And you can search hashtag Cape Cod High School Hockey Game of the Week for all the coverage this season of what has been a very entertaining slate of games. Thanks so much for being with us here tonight from Gallo Arena and Buzzards Bay. One more time, the final score, Sandwich 9, Dennis Yarmouth 6, this is Jim McCabe